What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to pick up where we left off, uh, uh, the British under Cameron Payne leads siege to Albany with a strong garrison and only has one turn left to surrender so I have to um, sally out because they wisely made the decision not to attack me. So let's crack on. So, um, what's happened? So what the plan is, is to set up my defences in a position. Firstly hold, to see if they attack me. So you know, I'll man the walls, and then I'll have a contingent behind the walls ready to sally out if they don't. So I have troops in the field, and I'll have... Um, walls. There'll be a bit of a delay, but they'll still get in. Okay, so let's dump all you outside for now. But to be honest... Controversial solution, but one that maximises firepower. Let's do this. To man the walls. With everything, including things like Rogers Ranges. Because they shouldn't run out, because I'm trying to attack them. Um, but yes, so the walls are almost fully manned. Then select... Ah, oh, nuts. So you're deployed, you're deployed, you're deployed, you're not deployed. Fill up this gap. Select these guys, select these guys. Group. Let's do this. Deploy five ranks close range under the guns of the wall, under the muzzle of the wall. Then deploy. Oh, I have nicked a unit off the wall. Neil Wood. Okay, so everyone else is still in position, and then let's put... I'll leave my guns inside, they're going to be useless. And then put... Uh, two units of... Two units of infantry out here, and then just to... Put my pikes in here too. The idea is that the, uh, the walls will provide... Uh, the artillery support I need. I don't know if I want to advance up that hill, so I might do more of a straddle position like this along it, working my way up. I don't want to advance too far away from the protection of my walls. Oh, they've been sneaky, have they? Because that is open for some reason. In which case, in case they be really sneaky, put some pikes in their way. Oh no, they are going to be just waiting for me. In which case, then I will deploy it up. In the greatest line of, of battle the world has ever seen. One thing that'd be very important is is um, stretching my flanks around. take this section apart from my thingies and set them to fire it off. Okay, let's triple speed it. Because they do have good artillery, good infantry, sorry, um, but my infantry is better. Well, not my infantry is better, I've just got so damn more of it. So I'm pretty confident in my 
ability to overwhelm their firepower, even without my artillery. So, because they're, they're all clustering in that corner, so in which case this wing will pivot around. It will probably be charged at some point by their cavalry, and they are more than welcome to try. So, let's take these guys, pivot them around like so. Honestly, I thought my sound bugged out. <laughs> Let's do something a bit provoky. Let's do that. Because you know up here, what? Well, it's just a unit of colonial light. So I'm unlikely to actually destroy them. But I will result probably in the deaths of lots of soldiers. Oh, that was just right, actually. But I'll never find that again. Who's back here? You know Marines keeping an eye on that Hessian line. Okay, well while they're manoeuvring... Run up hard and fast. Probably going to interfere over here, which is their prerogative. Let's get this one unit to form square as they run right into it. And they're not going to run right into it, in which case, charge them then. Because they're out of position. Let's massacre their infantry in the flanks move up my unit of line though this is my reserves because right now we should be able to absolutely do massive damage to them because they have chosen exactly the wrong well <laughs> I decided to re to reposition themselves and it just didn't work Let's take this unit of Hessian line out and start rolling up the flank. I've got a feeling this is where, where the victory will be will, will be won. We've got overwhelming superiority on this flank, and this militia unit will break. To be honest, I'm just going to treat it as though it will break. But maybe not. They're trying to form their line. There we go. So let's do this. Okay, unit of rangers is, is there. I 
but yeah, these guys will get into a position to shoot. And the the uh, the British are just in an absolute cauldron. Let's pour murderous fire into this unit of rangers. So run, walk yourselves over there, then walk yourselves over there. Oh, my Union Y actually gonna, is going to rout. This is the Worcester Regiment. They'll be back. Whoa, halt. Because the sneaky unit of Bowman Auxiliary in the front. This unit of Hessian line, take their place. There we go. These Grenadier units says they're winning. They might be knackering a few of my units, but I've still got units in reserve. And overwhelming superiority on this flank. I don't like how much damage these guys are doing to my infantry, so... Let's do this. And commit my pikes. Well, this, well, this is a strong unit, the Worcester Regiment, and two units of Marines and a unit of Hessian Line. Okay, let's pull them back, because I've got a bit of... No, I actually throw them in. So let's do this. I want to keep my my front advancing past the uh, past the units in combat. Yeah, you better retreat. Oh, the militia are going in. Not the militia, the marines. So this is where my glory strategy. Could potentially become unstuck. Okay, you all focus on this unit of Marines. This unit of Marines is going to do a lot better because they're against bog standard line infantry. But if I can kill this unit, which is alone. Some Bowman Auxiliary. Let's get my code to buy over here to snipe the Marines and turn on skirmish mode. I'm not maximizing my firepower, but I don't really think I need to worry about it. Thank you. 
the Marines, as you, as you can imagine, are holding on very well. Now they're finally losing, but it, or is it could it be their out their friends are shooting into their back? Don't let the Marines run. My pikes are too busy doing a real number on them. My, again, my skirmishes are starting to pick off some of this remaining unit of marines. To be honest, I may as well run these guys up to shoot them with them as well. Make ready. It's poor marines. So, I mean, the German bow unit, which is could be quite dangerous. See, they are steady, even though there's only 48 remaining, and there's lots of men with pointy sticks coming to get them. If you can get your first volleys off before they do. Because we've seen what damage... American Marines are able to do. May as well throw people in, because everyone's starting to rout. Turn off guard mode. Crush this British unit. These guys are going to crush this auxiliary unit. There's just the general remaining, who I'll sweep up afterwards. Get them all! You have an utterly engulfed, there's zero reason why anyone should get away. Ah, the guards have taken position upwind of my threat. And the British general is doing the only honourable thing and charging into the blob. This <laughs> time I get flying back. You'll be happy about it until these guys get involved. Well, until everyone gets involved, to be honest. Yeah, my skirmishes still cracking on. There you go, everyone's routing, everyone's shattered. Kill the general! Get him! Got him. Sweet. Absolute carnage. Man. You have 900 men remaining. And this I will select a big old chunk of these guys. Actually, firstly, so let's merge those guys. Okay, let's merge as many of my elite units together. Because right now I've got the resources to recruit more troops here. So pure numbers don't matter, but what does matter is I try and retain as much of my experience as I can. Because I think having experienced units is fun. And it's not something I've been bothered with that much. So the idea of cultivating an elite French army. So you, you're full strength. You go back in. You're pretty strong. Then, oops, alright. Hit them. Smash. Chomp. Then try to replenish as much as possible, and Philippe de Vaudreuil is just excellent. 
Obviously, the morale's a bit low. But so many command stars. But he's 74, so I don't like his odds for survival. Good. Got some investment in Syria. There you go. I can, I can recruit one more guy into here. I've got enough money. The entire French Empire's got enough money to go, mm, you. And one job will be to ship these guys off to India to open up some new trade routes. Or to open up some new trade possibilities. Yeah, war declared. City besieged. Not anymore. Sweet. How's my research doing? So you're doing keen. It's marching. Meh. Uh, nothing else you can really do apart from punch card loom, but so it's, may as well just do keen. It's marching. At least gets me campaign movement speed in the Yagilvi Regiment. Cool. Um... I think I might just auto this as well, because that's not really a battle. And Philadelphia is mine. Sweet. Let's hit in turn, because I can't do anything to fix it. Oh good, and we shot the uh, Prussian minister. Uh oh. Okay, where are you going? Hmm. See, this is the problem of not having that much of a stellar fleet. Uh, because I, I wish I could just send a uh, send some ships away to chase him down, but I just don't have the uh, the money. I think I I think giving away that territory to Louisiana was a bit of a blunder because it served to weaken my financial base. It's that kind of well, it's just quite a good reason why I'm going to expand into the the rest of the Americas. Like I said, that fleet is going to land somewhere off of my coast, potentially Boston. Uh, no, I'm about to research cadence marching. Why would I do that? Um, yes, yeah, so I need to, I do need to expand in the Americas just to, to earn some more cash, because right now I'm cash poor. 12 grand a turn, or even 20 grand a turn, isn't that much for the French, um, considering you have to fight across many, many fronts. Um, yes. Because you asked for an alliance, you're going to give me money. And it also means that that threat at the the western borders of my Northern American territories are... <gasps> Did they capture it? Well, Genoa, I'm about to do this sneaky sneak on you. Sadly, it's the poorer region of the two. Um, but I'll take it. <laughs> Ah, the Württembergs are sallying out to meet me. So let's fight. Fortunately, I've got a very weak army, so let's get my Swiss Grenadiers. And just knock up some of my more elite troops. There we go. Let's fight. So they got lots of infantry with my very small army. Which, if it does get destroyed, um, it would suck, but it's not the big world. Because um, it would mean that I have a free to do some... Uh, to get up to no good, so I'd probably land them in India, I think. Take Ceylon, take Bengal, take the British territories and start um, attacking their pos Okay, so central position is going to be my artillery batteries. And then let's manually deploy all of my... <laughs> all of my troops. They're very, very weak over many months of campaigning. Let's put the militia behind these. First, let's put some solid infantry near my guns. And behind that. Let's group you together so I know who I've deployed. Let's deploy three units of militia behind these. Let's deploy this other three units of line over on the flank to swing around, hopefully. With sticks. May as well put, may as well put um, uh, cavalry. I don't know what they call them. 
cavalry cavalry sticks. Uh, oh, I did pinch a unit from over here, but no matter. Let's just redeploy. Give him a strong unit of pikes. Put a weak unit of pikes near the guns. Keep my crassiers on the left. They can't hide, I don't think. Or if they can hide, they can't hide in these trees. And let's have my general up on this hill. Good. And I have one unit of strong infantry in support. I think my artillery can do a bit of sniping. So what are they hitting? Okay, you're all trying to hit one unit of artillery. One, one unit of infantry. That's not great. And it's not just any infantry, it's the Swiss Grenadiers. And let's triple speed it, because it's the... Uh, it's going to take some time. It's good, they are moving up on the left. So let's take these two militia units and spread them out. The General's bodyguard on the left, that's the only cavalry they've got on the map. So let's take... Well, no, firstly, let's do this do this a bit smart, smarter. Make my cavalry move around without interfering with my other line. I'm going to make these guys run um, to try. They'll be tired, but they'll beat they'll beat the uh, Wurttemberg forces to my lines. Oh, there you go. Devastating little set of shots there. Okay, so you may as well just shoot at the guys. Shoot at the guys ahead of you, I suppose. Oh, there we go. And these guys are advancing. Well, they were advancing straight at me. Even though my militia is of inferior quality, it will still... It could well still do the job. Um, it is backed up by some solid line that's deployed very thickly. In which case then I might actually do this. There you go, redeploy my line. Oh no, don't get stuck on the horse fences. Okay, she's bugged out. She has put my cuirassiers to work. Help fire my militia. for him. Yeah, they did kill some of my militia. So let's do this. Deploy my militia into the combat as well. Just to support my cuirassiers. Good. That's chewed up a unit of... Württemberg line infantry before breakfast. So let's do this to try to be a bit provocative. No, 
I don't waste shots in the fire like I'm citizenry. Go for the line infantry. Make my infantry run because they're starting to get ideas. You guys in your no fire right fire by rank. Yeah, yeah, I can't seem to make up its mind about where it wants to go. I need to be careful of them, because then I'll ride on my flank. In which case I'm gonna actually do this. Yeah, just keep blasting into them. Retreat your dogs. But I think with this victory, the Württembergs will finally have been put down. Okay, they're actually coming at me more conventionally now, so I might actually go back behind the protection of my walls. my cuirassiers to do some chasing down then switch to canister they're not within range yet chances are by the time they reload they will be come on pikes get your asses out of the way and these guys he's holding up the entire regiment have that man flock Let's hit the grenadiers on the guard mode. It's not loaded. Oh no, it has loaded their skins. But yeah, they even run down the muzzle of my guns. It's time to target my actual artillery. Good lads. Blast the unit of line infantry. If you fire short, you'll hit the unit of armed citizenry. I've even missed them all together now. Bam! Oh yeah, got a nice cluster of them, and they're wavering. As you should, you treacherous dogs. What are you still doing? There we go. Utterly, utterly destroyed by the artillery. Let's fire, aim at the general's bodyguard. I 
There you go, rotate your fire and you need to hit the armor citizenry in front of you, but you will do once you've reloaded. And let's deploy. Just keep. Ah, oh, see, this is what happens. That's what happens when you, if you use. If you let the, uh, the game decide its own deployment, you get some funky stuff happening. You guys are alright, you're gonna start firing at that armed citizen unit once you've reloaded. I do not think they will last. Round shot aim in this unit of provincial line, but it's not gonna do them any good. Because once these guys have reloaded, I'm pretty sure the front ranks have discharged their weapons. Nope, the rear ranks have. Then good old militia are going to do the work. Oh, firing right on the flank. They're being shot at from all directions. General's bodyguard still in the mix. Then let's move these guys into a more advantageous position to fire onto this Union Square. Let's double speed it as well now, actually, because I don't foresee this lasting too much longer. My militia is sniping in the general, which is nice. And you go, the square is firing, but the superior firepower of the line will just cause this to be a killing field. See, one volley and they're already wavering, two volleys and they're broken. Poor devils. Let's run my troops up to deliver the coup de grace. There we go. It's the end of that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the uh, their final stand. Hence the uh, the will tell, and the cogs will grind against them. There you go. Remaining only 500. There's a port in this region. Yeah, shot that, that guy. Oh no, Württemberg is still. The type of port to construct here. Stop trying to tell me to develop Rostock. Okie dokie. So then let's just take this strong unit. Boom. Boom. Squash. And so ends the Maratha Rebellion. Not the Maratha Rebellion, the Württemberg Rebellion. Let's replenish my forces and repair the Royal Palace in Stuttgart. And the territory is now mine. Württemberg hates me, but you're not going to hate me when I smash down your uni. You're going to love me for that. Okay, let's do some economic investing. Because France's tax earning potential is meant to be huge. But I do need to. Go on, let's get one of these name chips and then get a third rate as well. Because I need to engage the Royal Navy in like this fleet, which is a bit knackered. And I think this fleet would be lovely because it's a big fleet, but most of it's destroyed. Because a new town's emerging. So another one, Saratoga in New York. You need to remember that one. Keep hey, these units replenishing. And I haven't repaired Pennsylvania, but they still love me because they are extremely repressed. Good. And somewhere, a British fleet is loitering. It's constantly on my mind. Good. Hanover is repaired. Make sure that some of these regions are still being taxed. Do a bit of a tax run. Ha! Well, I'm not. I'm not taxing you because you don't earn anything. But now you do. You're on 726, which is good. I'm going to tax you because now you like me. I'm going to tax you because now you like me. Mostly, you'll get better. 
delicious. Let's go down here. Take my navy or my army here. And before Genoa does the sneaky sneak and do this. <laughs> Psych! <laughs> How would you like them apples, Genoa? Like I said, this region is the poor region, um, but what it does give me is spices. Even though I'm earning, getting a load of spices from the East Indies, it's always nice to have more stuff to trade, but I would much rather have this region. Abundant yield gold mine, abundant yield sugar plantation, poor, high yield gem mine. Delicious. Base. Württemberg is destroyed. Look at the timer. Um, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Glad you've enjoyed. And I will, well, I hope you've enjoyed, sorry. And I will see you next time.